Hello again. So happy you could join me on this beautiful day. Hope it's a beautiful day wherever you're at. I'd like to start out by thanking all my viewers and subscribers. I do appreciate it. And I hope you keep watching. I'm doing a lot more of beach scenes, lighthouses, different tones of sands in the beach, whether it's pinks or blues or lighter browns. Starting to put on some more piers is a good idea and some palm trees. So maybe that's what we'll do today. So what I got going on is a pre-stretch canvas as always 16 by 20. I spray painted it with your local hobby or hardware spray paint. Different shades, different colors. Put a painter's tape for the horizon, for the water. I loaded that up with a thin coat of liquid clear which is going to help the oils go on a lot smoother and makes it easier to work with. So that's where we're at so far. Any information on all the colors you'll need to paint along with me will come across the screen right about here. So let's get started and we'll start out with a fan brush just like that. I'm going to load it up with some liquid white. Liquid white for some sky color. Just like that on both sides. Maybe we got the light source coming over here the way I have it painted. So we'll start right here with the cloud. Circular motions. Maybe this one is a big cloud. It's got some things happening. Maybe it goes all the way down to the horizon. like that. We'll come in now to the blender brush. I always like using just the corner and tapping. Tapping the, the clouds. You want to leave that sharp edge alone because if you look in nature you'll see that. It's real sharp on the right at the tops of the clouds and then it fades back. And that's what we're trying to do here. Trying to get that same look. And you can get different layers in that way. Different layers as you go. Loading up with some more white, just like that. Maybe we have another cloud right here. Right behind that one. Maybe it goes off. Maybe it goes off just like that. Get the corner of the blender brush, tap that out, all the way down, all the way up. Got another layer going on right there. What I see is, that's good for me. A couple of a couple of clouds. I'm coming into a small little brush. I'm going to put some seagulls in. Just like that. Load it up with some liquid white. Maybe we got one right here. loading it up with the white. Maybe we've got one up here higher. Liquid white. Just like that. 
clean that brush off. Get some black. Black for the seagulls. Their beaks and their they're underneath. See that at home. Turned out pretty good. Cleaning the brush off. I use odorless paint thinner, which is always a good thing. We'll come back in here and thin out some of this liquid. Clear. Now we got that happening. We'll come in and do some. We'll do some waves in the distance. Liquid clear again. Little roll of paint right off the edge there. We're just going to come in and tap. Since the light's coming from this area here. Might be a little brighter there. It's going across. Trying to keep your line straight. The way it would look in nature with the waves back there. A little bit more paint. Big wave back there. And if you feel like you got too much, just go back over it. You can thin it right out. Back over here, you won't see as many waves. It's more like in a distance. But right over here, might be a little bit. Choppier. Because of the light, you get that glisten. It kind of looks like diamonds. Diamonds in the sky. some things happening back there. Off in a distance. Just here and there.
Okay, we can start to have some of the shoreline coming in now. If it starts from up here and works its way down. So we'll start with a little here. Grab the smaller edge right there, it's a little chiseled edge, gets a smaller roll of paint. And that goes just like that. Maybe it looks kind of foamy there. Right where I think there might be more foam. Just the edge. Okay. Set that down. Come in for the fan brush. We had the white paint on it. We're going to come in and pull this back now, right where the waves. Here and there, the way you might think it might look with the water. some stuff back here happening. Maybe another wave. More foamy back here. Even gaps there. Gives it that look of waves coming in. In the distance. I'm going to take this little brush here with some liquid white and we'll go in and tap some of these areas where we think there might be some waves crashing in right here. It's turning over. Here and there. We'll come in here. Get rid of this little bit of white there. And with the blender brush back here, blend some of this, some of these waves in a little bit. Kind of spread them out.
little one here. All the way across. Get that one going up there. It's kind of the look I'm looking for. Now we'll come into some white, maybe. A little bit of a lighter brown. The same color here, reflection of the water. brush pull down just a little just with the corner then go across that wet look. Give that wet look. And then we come in more white. Maybe have something else happening right here. A little bit of water. Just like that, where some of it's coming in. Clean out the fan brush, because we had some of the shade color. I want to come in and feather this back some. Right when we've got some another little misty little wave coming in. Maybe where it's all foamy there. Foamy. I'm going to add a little bit more, I think. Make it more foamy. You're doing circular motions and trying to get the foam look to it.
add some more right here. A little bit darker right here. Just like that. Tapping it, pulling it back. layers. Now we come into a little bit of a shadow there. Underbrush. Pull down. Pull across. Of that water glistly look. Okay, we got that happening. Let's come in and put some beach area in. And for that, we're going to load some liquid white. some blues. Maybe a shade of blue. You know what? I'm going to change that. I'm going to go with the lighter brown, lighter brown beach. I'm going to put a pier in. I think that would be good. Lighter browns. And we'll come right in here. Who knows, maybe we have a lighthouse too. I don't know. Goes right like that. Maybe there's something happening out here. Maybe where the pier is going to be coming from. Maybe head. Maybe head back there. Maybe something there. Something right there. Some darker right here. Be darker right there. I come in with the blender brush. We'll tap it in. That sandy look. Tap it and then go keep going back. Kind of diffuses it. that nice nice look that nice sandy beachy look darker here because it's closer shadows maybe this is even darker yet because it's hidden it's hidden by 
kind of will come into some whites now. Maybe a lighter brown. Who knows? Tap it in. Maybe we got some light here, lighter colors right up here. Lighter back there. Maybe one of the lights hitting it. Just keep going back and forth, tapping it. So you get that look that you're looking for of the sand. Use that a little bit down there, or it's the browner. Maybe this side is darker because of the sun's not getting back there. Cleaning the brush off again. I want to come in to just more strictly white. Almost like a white, white brown. Beach, white sand. Can have things happening wherever you like. I use paper towels, rags, whatever you got. Tapping this.
after we get this in, maybe we can put in our lighthouse. Maybe a pier. like I'm getting too much other color on there, too much of the browns. So I really want this white to pop. Really want it to stand out. Getting there. on the edge. This looks pretty good in here. of things happening. Okay, got that going on. I say we come in, we come in for a lighthouse. this brush right here. Come into some liquid white. Just load it up. And determine where you want your lighthouse to be. Maybe ours is right here. Comes right down. Back and forth. 
little bit of black, a little bit of gray, very little. Come in and highlight this this side here. gray look all the way down come into the little brush There's some gray on it we'll put the windows in into some white and a touch of blue. Give the color of the glass. Color of the glass on a light house. some white sharp. Come in with some reds now. A 
or do the roof. We'll do the top of the lighthouse. small little edge going to some black little roll of paint right across the tips right across the tip just like that come in here put the little antenna some railings up around the lighthouse. Just like that. Put some little railings. in a distance. Come back in, get some grays maybe. We'll shadow some of this. Shadow some of that a little darker. closer towards the bottom. Now we'll come in. This brush here we use with the liquid clear. And we'll get some bushes and stuff going. But first, I'm going to do the pier. I think the pier can come right out here. So who knows, let's do some browns. Some woodsy, wood looking colors. A little roll of paint. Who knows, maybe. Maybe to start back here. dead with the wave. We'll pull that over. Maybe 
something like that. Use the smaller edge, the smaller chisel side. We'll come out here and make this get smaller out here. Here's going on there. Maybe a little bit of highlight. Maybe down here we'll put some little bit of reflection. We'll come into a little brush here. Pull that down.
like we did the reflection. Just want to give it the illusion of the reflection of the pier underneath where it's kind of darker in the water Closer to shore. Parker right under the pier. Okay, now we got that going on. We'll come into some green color, liquid clear, liquid clear, some greens, browns, blacks. Rounded edge. Just like that. I'm going to push up. Push up where we want the branches and twigs and maybe there's a big bush right there. Just by tapping it. Tapping it, you get all the little things happening. Twigs and weeds and maybe here we got some where it's almost covered up. here some lighter colors on the fambra or the palette knife and spray down some things. these things in. Make 
chicken twigs and stuff you might see at the beach. Go into some yellow. Lighter color. Do the same thing. Here and there. fading this in. I wanted to keep all that going. 
clean the fan brush off. I'm going to come in and feather this back some. Pull this down. Pull it back. some lighter colors. Colors that we had. Maybe a little bit darker. Maybe maybe get something happening right there. Right by some of these. brown that brown color back not so much of the green but more of the lighter That's what we can come and do. Highlight. Highlight it again. Right where we might want it to pop. Then use the blender brush. Blend it in. Tap it in. like that. Now, got the lighthouse going up here. Let's do some palm trees. Some palm trees with some brown. Liquid clear. chisel edge. A little bit more chiseled brush. Get that palm tree to be smaller. The further away it is. Just like that. Maybe there's, there's a palm tree out here.
chiseled back. And we'll put some highlight on here. brown and you already have your highlight. All we have to do is pull that around. Here and there. Give it that palm tree look. back into the fan brush, load it up with some clear colors, liquid clear, and some green for the palm trees. Load it right up, just like that. Maybe off in the distance. These palm trees are right here.
going right up to the lighthouse. Off in the distance. Bees can just come out from all over. The palm trees do. They just kind of scatter. That gets filled up in there. They always got some brown, dark colors filling that palms up in that area. Well, I think we're going to call this a completed painting. I'm going to sign this. Sign this in the bottom here in the corner. I always like signing my last name. Some people use their initials. I like putting the year in too that it was painted. Just kind of helps you out. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you come back and see me. Bye.